Hey everybody, this is just a quick video to show how I hid the doors from my last video here. Uh, so here I have these doors sliding and they're actually hiding into the wall. So I'm just going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to select on this door. And if I go to the modifiers tab, you'll see that it actually has a lattice. If I turn this lattice off, the door will stick through the end. If I turn the modifier back on, it'll hide the door. So I'll just turn on that lattice here. And you can see the lattice right here inside the door frame. Let me just isolate that. So as this door compresses against that lattice, it's actually hiding itself. And it's sort of a technique I've used in the past just to hide things without really messing with a Boolean or shape keys and without actually adjusting the UVs. The lattice itself has a shape key on it. So if I come to the key one, it's actually compressing towards the door. Let me just show you a bit more how this will work. So I have this uh, Suzanne here, and I'm going to add a lattice. And it's the lattice in my scene. Now this lattice here, I'm just going to add a shape key. I'll turn it up to one as well. And I'm just going to compress the lattice towards one end. And I'm just going to flip my interpolation as well to linear, just to ensure that I get a nice clean deformation. Now that we do this, just scale it on the X and then just drive it over. So I'm keeping that one vertice static on the right hand side and just moving this over. Okay, so I'm just going to dial the shape key and you can see what it's doing to the uh, character. Here. Very simple lattice change but what happens when I actually translate the lattice now in object space away from the monkey this is how I'm achieving that hiding effect so if I leave the lattice static here and grab the Suzanne character and drive it towards the lattice it'll hide itself inside the lattice now this will eventually break if I keep going it'll eventually come out the other side but for something like hiding a door it works really well now you could use a shape key or a boolean, but I'll show you why I like this method. Let's say I had 10 objects. And they all had that same lattice modifier. Now I can grab them all and just drive them into that lattice. A lot easier to do this than to add shape keys to each of these pieces and have them drive um, dynamically or independently. Another way to do this is with a boolean modifier. So here I have just a cube in my scene, and I've just flipped the um, display mode from solid or textured to wire. This monkey character here just has a Boolean, and it's looking at that cube. So as I drive it towards the Boolean, it's going to disappear. Now it's actually going to cut through it, which is fine. Um, sometimes, though, I find Booleans can have issues with texturing because you're actually destroying polygons, you're actually deleting faces. So if you do have texturing, sometimes you're going to get these weird issues like this right here. And this may not look right depending on what you're doing. One of the benefits to adding a lattice is I'm not destroying any geometry, I'm just compressing it. And there's other ways to do this as well with shape keys and different modifiers. Um, it's all about what's going to work for your scene and going to work for your shot. But that's just a quick demo of how I hid the doors in these shots. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>